Uh, David, 38 bills, lots of conversation about what's in it, but also <coughs> what's not. Your thoughts on some of the content? I thought that the speech itself was quite bland. Yeah, there was nothing much in it that they haven't mentioned It's not before. a comedy show. It's not supposed to be there to entertain. <laughs> not, not at all, no. But in terms of reality and, like, being in touch with where, where people really are, you know, if you live outside London, if you're living in a normal house and you're struggling, you've had the struggles of the last two years of lockdown, now energy prices are going up, inflation's are going up. And he started off by saying, look, yeah, we've got to do something to help families with the cost of living. We've got to level up. But then it was seemed to be just full of cliches and nothing much for families, nothing much for ordinary working people. And he said later on in the speech, we're going to cut spending, sorry, cut taxes. Great. We're going to cut the debt. That's great. But to do that, you'd also have to cut spending as well. He didn't say much about that. He said basically what he indicated is going to continue carrying on spending on the sort of net zero plan that he's got, which actually is crazy because that's one of the things that is actually making the cost of living much more for everybody. So it was full of contradictions. That, that, that's a great irony. I completely agree with you. We're talking about an energy security bill. The reason the energy prices are so high is because of the government's stupid stupid economic policies which pretend there's a climate crisis. Have I mentioned I don't think there's a climate emergency in the past ever? If you didn't have the shutting down of relatively cheap energy and this insane idea that CO2 is destroying the climate and so forth, then we'd be doing OK. But they didn't do anything radical like that. I think you're absolutely mm. right, David. They're kind of disguising the fact they've caused half the problems with yeah. these Pathetic solutions. Yeah, absolutely right. And it was just, yeah, it was just full of those kind of things which are completely out of touch with everybody. What, what they would, if they wanted to do something good, they would say, well, let's get back to coal, let's get back to gas, let's, so, you know, open nuclear power stations. That is good. They did say they're going to do that. But they, they're saying, you know, that they should have done that 10 years ago before they co closed all the coal power stations and then left us with the problem. There's no kind of acknowledgement that they are the people who created the problems and there's not much that they're doing to solve the problems that they created. No offence, Conservative Lordship, we're not holding you personally <laughs> responsible.